Hello, I'm Sister Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today, November the 1st, 2015, from Hazelwood, USA. And the topic of my devotion is Right Choices. How many times have we exclaimed, Oh, I hope I'm making the right choice. I'm making the right decision. Decisions are something we have to make numerous times every day. Sometimes we ask our others, sometimes we ask others for their opinions, thinking that someone else's perspective might be better than our own. But we are all accountable for our own actions. We all know right from wrong. And when we act hastily or um, choose to go against our own better judgment, we can blame no one but our own selves for the outcome. When we go against the Bible, the Word of God. This is why we need to pray and ask God to order our steps. This is why we need to think things through and sit down and count the cost. Don't just go with the in crowd. Don't just follow the world just to fit in or to be accepted. We are called to stand out. We are called to not conform to the world. We, are, we have to choose this day whom we're going to serve. Make wise choices. Smart investments with our time our resources, our commodities, to be good stewards. All of this requires good decisions. Most of all, the right choice regarding salvation. On the day of Pentecost, not everyone who heard Peter's message obeyed. They could have been in that 3,000 that were added to the church along with the 120 from the upper room. There was many others that did not. Some thought they were mocking. Um, some were mocking and thinking that they were drunk or they just didn't believe. They were in unbelief. We never later. We never hear if later they, um, they realized their mistake and were born again. We never know that. Because, you know, today is the day of salvation. You can make the right choice today. No one is guaranteed tomorrow. We are all one heartbeat from heaven. That's all that keeps you and me from eternity is one little heartbeat. How long will you halt between two opinions? Like, I think I'll do this. No, I'll wait a little bit longer. I know that's the right thing to do, but, you know, my grandmother didn't do that. My aunt didn't do that. Um, you know, I think I'm okay the way I am. How long are you going to halt between two opinions? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Jesus said, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of heaven. You know, we are to take up our cross and follow him. Don't be like the world. Take up your cross. It may seem hard at first, but it, it's going to be worth it in the end. And also, he's with you. He's going to help you to carry that cross. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right choices. He gave to Peter the keys to the kingdom of heaven. He told Peter the keys to salvation. And Peter gave those keys to us in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. We have to repent. That's one of the keys. We must repent. If you haven't repented, it's more than just saying you're sorry. It's a turnabout. You change. You start making right choices. You stop doing what you've been doing that's wrong and do right. You be baptized in Jesus' name. This baptism is being dead to the old nature. You come up a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things passed away. If you've been baptized any other way than in the name of Jesus, or you haven't yet been baptized, it's time to do it right. Make the right choice and be filled with the Holy Ghost. This is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He will not dwell in an unclean temple. No man can serve two masters. He must hate the one and love the other. The Holy Ghost is holy. Jesus said, Be ye holy as I am holy. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit that will lead and guide you into all truth. It is the power. You say you can't stop sinning? You're right. You can't. Not without the power. 
This is the power to overcome the world. This is that resurrection power. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. When you get the Holy Ghost, this will give you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. This is that promise. The signs of a believer. Right choices. I pray today that you will make the right choice. Dear God, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will order our steps in everything that we do, Lord Jesus. I pray that you give us the right words to say. Help lead us to the right people. Help us, Lord Jesus, God, to be your hands and your feet and your mouthpiece. We love you with all of our hearts. Bless everyone that are at the sound of my voice, God. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Remember, King James Version, that's one of the right choices. Read the Word of God, the inspired Word of God. We're going to be judged out of this book. God bless you today. Amen.